Yeah, one of the one of the things we teach in my classes, we we teach uh, the psychomotor learning process, and we we teach it intellectually because <clears throat> out in the force, one of the biggest problems is in the fighting world is that people want to come. You know, every martial arts teacher in the world wishes they were the thinks they're the guy who has the answer, right. and what they always try to sell is you know like the weekend seminar or the one week course or whatnot, and those things are almost always useless. And the reason they're useless is because they try to concentrate on the wrong stuff. They concentrate on, you know, we're going to show you these techniques that will be helpful in your situation that you're going to find yourself in. Mm -hmm. But, of course, that's got nothing to do with how you would learn how to fight. Learning the techniques is immaterial. What we teach is here's the process of how you learn how to fight, right? And then, and so then what we're doing is we're inoculating them from these salesmen who come in. We say, okay, you mm -hmm. know. If you're going to, you know, first you're going to be in the cognitive phase where I show you something and you can barely make your body do it. Then you're going to be in the associative phase where you do it a whole lot of times so that your body starts to digest the information. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you're going to be where you don't have to think about it. And I always give the example of walking, right? I always say, this, I say this skill set here, you know, walking. Anybody have any trouble with it? Do you have to think about it when you're doing it? Of course, they're, they're all adults would like, no that's why well, yeah but it took all of you a year to learn it trial and error and eventually you right. finally got it down you practice to practice to practice and now you walk without thinking about it because you're in the final stage of the of the skill you have the skill right, right. And it's the same it's the same with any the learning process is that way first you learned the simple stuff then you put it together then you built a schema so you know it all you know how it all works right. and then pretty soon you have it. It's yours. Right. You and, it. and what's interesting, you guys are not just teaching the what. You're teaching the why. Mm -hmm. Because if you understand the why, the what, doesn't matter what it is, the what yeah. is much more easily acquired. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, uh, this is, <laughs> has he been to our seminar today? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing that people who think about shit actually arrive at the same conclusion. They arrive at exactly the same conclusion about exactly the same stuff. 